Last month, on the anniversary of Mao Zedong's birthday, there was some significant military news coming from China. We saw a sneak peek of some new prototype fighters, a new AWACS plane, and China's latest amphibious assault ship, the Type 76 Sichuan, had its launch ceremony. I'll discuss those sixth generation prototype fighters in a different video. Today, let's discuss the Type 76. We'll talk about its capabilities, its role on the battlefield, and if Taiwan should be concerned. My name is Topher. I'm a U.S. Army combat veteran and a YouTuber living in Taiwan. Let's get into it. The Type 76 is a larger upgraded version of China's Type 75 amphibious assault ship. These are comparable to the U.S. Navy's WASP class and America class ships. These amphibious assault ships basically look like small aircraft carriers, and their landing deck is designed for helicopters and drones. The Type 76 is unique because it has an electromagnetic catapult launch system. It's actually hidden under this canopy. Previously, these systems have only been seen on aircraft carriers because they're designed to aid in the launch of fighter jets. Does this mean that the Type 76 can launch fighter jets? No, it doesn't. This system is probably intended for smaller unmanned aircraft, UAVs, or a UAV is a type of drone. Now it's worth noting that China does have one other electromagnetic catapult system, and that is on their newest aircraft carrier. This aircraft carrier, the Fujian, is China's third aircraft carrier, and it has China's first electromagnetic catapult launch system, which has been tested, but at the time of recording this video, hasn't actually launched any manned fighter jets. The Type 76 is an amphibious assault ship, and it has what's called a well deck. This is a special deck at the very bottom of the ship that can be filled with water and launch out landing craft and hovercraft and even amphibious fighting vehicles like China's Type 05. The Type 05 is an amphibious fighting vehicle that can carry about 10 troops and it travels in the sea and up onto land. The role of amphibious assault ships is to project power far away from its nation's borders. In China's case, it would be most effective operating from China's naval base in Djibouti off the Horn of Africa. Operations against any potential adversary in this region, like for example, Somali pirates, the Type 76 would be very effective in these types of operations. Obviously, this is because those types of adversaries don't have very good, very effective anti-air or anti-ship or anti-armor capabilities. So are these amphibious assault ships, the Type 75s and the Type 76, are these a threat to Taiwan? Well, yes, but they're not really designed for large-scale assaults against a well-armed opponent. So in a hypothetical invasion of Taiwan, these ships would be much less effective. And this isn't just my opinion. This is also the opinion of the U.S. Naval War College. Why do I say they would be less effective against Taiwan? Well, it's pretty simple, because Taiwan is well-armed. Helicopters, for example, are extremely vulnerable against air defense systems, and Taiwan has a lot of air defense systems, and they are only buying more and building more. Landing craft and hovercrafts and amphibious fighting vehicles, these are all very vulnerable to anti-tank weapons and artillery, and Taiwan has a lot of artillery and anti-tank weapon systems. You see, Taiwan's tanks and drones can easily sink a Type 05 amphibious fighting vehicle as it's trying to cross the sea. Currently, China has four Type 75 ships and the one new Type 76, which probably won't actually enter service until towards the end of this year. And the exact carrying capabilities of these ships is a secret, but it's estimated that combined, they would have the ability to carry around 300 Type 5 amphibious fighting vehicles. Now, that sounds like a lot, but consider this. 
just 10 of Taiwan's M1A2 Abrams tanks can hypothetically, in the perfect scenario, destroy 300 Type 5s in less than 10 minutes. And that's just one of Taiwan's weapon systems that would be targeting these invading amphibious fighting vehicles. Of course, this is just a hypothetical situation. Real combat wouldn't play out this way, but it gives you a sense of Taiwan's defense capabilities. So, do these ships pose a threat to Taiwan? Absolutely. Yes, they do. Do these ships give the CCP a sure victory in an invasion? Absolutely not. No, not even close. Of course, that's only if Taiwan remains vigilant and has a well-equipped military and a well-funded military. Objectively speaking, the PLA Navy doesn't have anywhere close to the number of landing craft that would be needed for a successful invasion of Taiwan. And starting a war across the Taiwan Strait would be an extraordinarily unpopular war for the entire world, including most Chinese citizens. Foreign powers would almost certainly get involved. Now, it's my opinion that the PLA's massive buildup is because the CCP wants to replace the U.S. as the dominant military force in the world. And I think the CCP would much rather have Taiwan voluntarily join the PRC instead of trying to take Taiwan by force. And although I'll admit the West in general is experiencing significant social and economic issues, but so is China. The world is changing. And I think that as long as Taiwan remains vigilant, Taiwan will be just fine. It'll be safe and prosperous place to live. I recently found an article by the Council of Foreign Relations, and it does a great job explaining all the challenges that the PLA would face in an uh, invasion of Taiwan. It basically has all the same conclusions that I came to a few years ago when I was researching whether or not to move to Taiwan. It's really well designed, well laid out article, and I encourage you to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. A big thanks to my channel supporters. I truly hope that humanity can resolve its differences and just learn to live peacefully, right? Okay, peace and love. I'll see you.